Sorai's Terran Poke Adventures here, and before the video starts, I just want to address that Sarai will be helping me today in recording this video. So thanks, Sarai. Hi. Anyways, a lot of Cineflare fans might be asking, how did Llama Baba get his powers? Even Flareon, the creator of the Babas, doesn't know. So today, I'm going to go over its origin story. Now, Llama Baba lived in a humble village. The villagers even addressed how big it was. Man, that thing's bad. Yeah. It would make a lot of mood. Yeah. But we need to keep it around. Those Babas have been destroying many villages. Yes, and this Baba's a very good Baba. This I ain't a Baba. Oh. It's just a llama, a normal, normal llama. Llama! I could have a, my knife to kill it. Don't! Uh, we but, need it to protect! Yes, I... But then one day, the village got attacked by a Baba. The Mama Baba had attacked, killing both villagers and scratching the llama on its right side. But then its blood felt weird and it ran away. <sighs> the llama had felt new powers and it wanted to avenge its action figure friend. So it used that new powers like Llama Baba Slash. It decided to go on a journey. During its journey, it encountered the other true form, Baba, Bayleaf. <laughs> Bayleaf Baba scratched it on the left side, but its blood also began to feel weird, and Baba Baba, or Llama Baba gained the power of time. The llama then decided, well, it was the llama baba now, to go to the future to see if the babas had calmed down. <sighs> and when it arrived in the future, it seemed that maybe things had calmed down. But then a storekeeper got the llama. He tried to struggle out. <sighs> this will make a great store shelf llama. The llama knew it couldn't use its powers, or it might die because they're afraid. So it had to stop struggling. But little did the llama know. That its fate would bring it upon more Babas, and it will eventually join a group that was so amazing it had its own story. <laughs> 